Well, the first day, I was sitting next to this guy, and we're reading the script. And I go, man, this sucks. What is this? And he says, well, it's our sitcom show. I said, who wrote this? This is horrible. He says, yeah, it's kind of what we're doing here. So I finish, and Alan Manning's our producer comes over. He says, hey, man, I heard you had a little problem with the script. I said, yeah, who are you? He says, I'm Alan Manning's executive producer. I said, well, look here, buddy. This has got to be all rewritten. He says, who are you? You're just like the fifth guy in the show. You just shut up. I'm not big. You got to think big. The live audience is my thing because I'm a stand up. Shut up. So, what would happen is I would come up with stuff and somebody would say, No, you can't do that. And I said, Man, I know that's funny. I got to get it in. So, I'd wait until the actual tape day. Hello there, Philadelphia. <laughs> Hello there, Boston firm. Hello there, speckled plant. <laughs> and as for you, African violet, right on, bro. And Norman would say, You know, you're not a writer on the show. You're an actor on the show. You can't make all these changes. It's other people here. Get in with it. So what they did was they realized I was a comic. So they would always have me have a soliloquy. I get a chance to sit across from Diana Ross. Get near Pam Greer. Let the root of pain drive me insane. Everybody loved burning that. Oh, hey, hey, good looking. All these guys from these teams the Lakers, the Dodgers, the hockey team, guys coming from everywhere. Unbelievable. Guys flying in from Europe. Who called? Who? Don. Yeah. And Bob and Bill and Terry and Jerry. There'd be like maybe 48 dozen roses. So the guy would come in, and I'd be waiting for him. And I said, where are you going? He said, Bernadette Stannis, I got uh, five dozen roses from the Lakers. They want to whatever. I said, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to her. So I would bring a chick to the show, and I'd go, here you go, here's a rose. Here you go, you can have this. And the chick would go, wow, you're so thoughtful. i go, yes, of course, that's the way it is. And then Bernadette would still have uh, 72 dozen roses. It sure is nice to see you grow up to a beautiful young woman, Thelma. Oh, thanks, Bookman. That's really nice of you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how hard it is to believe. <laughs> As everybody can tell you, because he was a comic, me and downtown Johnny Brown, <laughs> we were very good friends. Bookman, can you drive me downtown? Are you kidding? I wouldn't be seen in public with you looking like that. What do people think? They think we're Fat Man and Robin. <laughs> I love Johnny Brown. I think for me, I loved our cast. People had their problems or whatever it was, but the comics were my guys. Mmm, sweet potato pie. Boy, I can taste it now. Ah! <laughs> JJ! <laughs> JJ, don't drop me! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna,